In this video, I'll be using a graphing calculator to find the real solutions of an equation. I'll be using the TI-84 Plus Silver Edition. And let's look at this statement that I have here. Uh, to solve the equation f of x equal to 0, all we have to do is graph y equal f of x. And it turns out that the zeros of the graph of this uh, y equal f of x will represent the real solution of the given equation, f of x equal to zero. So as a basic example here, uh, solve x squared minus four is equal to zero. Okay, this one of course you can solve easily by factoring. So the method I'm going over here basically is uh, when you're trying to solve an equation, quadratic equation, exponential equation, uh, so forth, and say it doesn't have an exact solution, we simply one have one side zero, x squared minus four must be zero, so it has to be in this form right here, f of x equal to zero. That's this right here. And then we graph it. We can do it by just picking points or using the graphing calculator, which is, which is what I'm going to do. We place the x by zero, we get negative four. That gives me this point down here, zero, negative four. So that's the y-intercept. If I replace the y by zero, I get x squared minus four, of course, equal to zero, which is this right here. And the solution for that is 2 and negative 2. So this point over here, so this point right here would be the point 2 and 0. That's an x-intercept. And this point on the other side, opposite that, would be the point negative 2, 0. So negative 2 and 2 then are the first components of the x-intercepts. Those are also called the zeros, okay, of this function or of the, uh, of the graph. So that's your solution. Okay, and this, this procedure is always going to work as long as you can write the equation in this format, y equal f of x. Okay, and this f of x will be some polynomial. It could be an exponential. It could be a log. So anything like that, you can solve using this method. So let's clear this. Okay, so let's look at this one right here. x squared minus 2x minus 2 is equal to 0. We want to solve this. And this one we could solve it. Uh, doesn't factor directly. So we could solve it using the quadratic formula, the method of completing the square. But we're doing these using the graphing calculator for now. So let's get the graphing calculator out here. And hit the y equals. Turn it on first. Okay, and I've already entered these functions just to make it uh, make the video a little bit shorter. So I have uh, this thing right here, this x squared minus 2x minus 2 would be your f of x. It's equal to 0. So we simply have to graph then the y value. In this case, it's y2 equal to x squared minus 2x minus 2. So we graph it. Take the graph. OK, so it's a parabola. And you can see that it crosses the x-axis in two points. So we have two x-intercepts. And the first components are those intercepts will be the zeros, which means those are the numbers that make this side zero, which of course will be the solutions, the real solutions. Okay, so we want to know where it crosses the x-axis at this point and at this point. And again, you can't get carried away and say, well, it looks like uh, over here on the right it's a 1, 2, 3, 3, 0, and over here it looks like it crosses at 1, negative 1, 0. Sometimes it could be obvious like that, but uh, it could be a decimal that's pretty close to that value. So what do we do? In this case, I hit the second key, and then I hit the trace key here. I'm, access I'm accessing the calculate menu, so, and then number two is zero, so I enter two here, or uh, hit the uh, two key. And then you see the cursor, what's a left bound? So let's Move this to the left a little bit. 
So we're going to find the uh, value for the zero on the left side, which will correspond, of course, to a uh, x-intercept. So hit enter. Now notice the uh, lower left is asking for a right bound. So move the cursor past that point. Okay, hit enter. Now it wants a guess. You can ignore that and hit enter. And you can see 0 when x equal to negative 0.732. And of course, y equals 0. That's telling you that's an x-intercept. And the first component is the 0. So based on what we did to discuss, that's going to be the uh, one solution, one real solution. So negative 0.732 rounded up to uh, three places would be one real solution for that equation. Now let's try it again and get the other one. Second, and then trace. Hit two again. And let's go to the other one. Once a left bound, stay to the left, hit enter. Now it's a, now it's a right bound, so go we'll forward, past it, hit enter. Now once a guess, ignore it, and just hit enter. And we get zero when x is 2.732. 2.732. Seven three two, run it out to three places. So again, we have uh, one real solution of negative point seven three two, and a positive two point seven three two. Clear this. Go to the next one. This is this was an exponential. So it's three to the x is equal to eleven. You, you can work this by applying logarithms, but we're using the calculator. So go to the y equals, and notice I want it in the form f of x equal to 0, so I bring the 11 over. So what I'm going to enter the graph will be 3 to the x minus 11. 3 to the x minus 11. So y equals, and there it is at y3. I already have it entered, 3 to the x minus 11. Let's go over here and deselect the one I already did. And then select this one. And then hit graph. And you can see this crosses the x-axis at one point. So let's go second, traced, calculate menu. Hit 2 again. And then we want the cursor. It's asking for a left bound, so we want the cursor to the left of that point. Don't have to be real close as long as you're to the left there. Hit enter. I want the right bound, so go past that point above it. Hit enter. Once a guess now, lower left there. Hit enter. Disregard it and hit enter. So we get. We have a zero at x equal 2.182, 183, and we run it out to uh, three places. So my real solution for this one is going to be x equal to 2.183. Clear this. Let's go to the next one. Okay, this was an exponential. Again, using the graphing calculator, one side has to be zero, and then the left side will be your f of x. So then I graph y equal f of x. So I'm going to enter e to the 2x minus 2, e to the x minus 3. So hit the y equals here. And I've already entered it there, just to save some time. Let's deselect the one I just did. And then select this one here, e to the 2x minus 2, e to the x minus 3, hit enter, and then we graph.
Okay, and you can see it again disappears to cross the x-axis at one point. So we expect one real solution. Now you're saying, what, what happens if you, uh, you do a graph of one and the graph stays strictly above the x-axis or strictly below the x-axis? That is, it doesn't cross the x-axis. Well, that's telling you that there is no real solution. It could be possible that the equation has uh, an imaginary solution or a complex solution, but no real solution. Here it does cross. So again, we just repeat the procedure, go second, trace to access the calculate menu. Again, enter the hit number two. And then for the left bound, go up a little bit, get it closer to that point. Hit enter. Right bound now, go past it, hit enter. Once again, guess, ignore it, hit enter. And there it is. We have a zero at x equal 1.0986. Run that out to three places. The real solution for this equation has one only, is 1.099. Clear this. That'll be it for this video. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you next time.